What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about something that I made a video on years ago, and it's a story about something that happened years ago back when I worked at Canadian Tire. Let's get right into this. So of course we we're talking about one of the biggest stories that I did share on my channel for Canadian Tire and that is an engine replacement gone wrong. I worked in automotive in Canadian Tire and this story takes place about 7 to 10 years ago if I remember correctly. I worked at Canadian Tire, I started there 10 years ago and I worked there for 5 years and this happened within the first 3 years of me working there. And I have told this story on the channel before, but it's been literally maybe four years, five years since I did mention this story. So I've had a lot of people asking questions about it, so I decided to make a new video talking about it. So the first thing I will mention about working at Canadian Tire, at least in my Canadian Tire, is small town Canadian Tires run completely different than a big city Canadian Tire, especially the bigger stores. So the bigger stores and in big cities, there is the service departments and the parts department, which are separate from each other. But in a small town, the parts and service departments are together. So if you work in the parts departments, you do help out the service department and you do book oil changes and things for the shop. If you do work in service, you do help out parts and you do order parts for the customers, even if they're not getting the work done in the shop. My time at Canadian Tire, we went through a lot of different supervisors and managers in the automotive department because a lot of time, most of them that came in didn't know much about automotive and weren't great managers to begin with. So the manager we had at the time of this story was completely clueless and in my opinion, a complete idiot. And in our store, since we are a small town store, we had one tech that did oil changes and tires and we had one fully licensed mechanic which did everything, but our mechanic literally was clueless as well. So we had this Chrysler 300 come into the shop, it had engine problems and it was fully diagnosed and the mechanic did come to the conclusion that it needed a full new engine because there was extreme problems with the engine, the owner did neglect it completely, and it needed a new engine. So now it was up to our manager to find and get a new engine for this car. We literally went through a ton of engines before we got one that worked, and a lawyer did have to get involved. So now that the mechanic has said it needs a new engine, they relayed that information to the owner of the Chrysler 300 and they did agree that they were ready for a new engine and they did want it replaced. So now that we got the customer approval, it was up to the manager to find a replacement engine for this car. However, since they are clueless, it was just such a fun ride experiencing everything that happened next. Now engines aren't cheap, they usually run a couple thousand dollars and the price depends on where you're buying it from, if you're buying it used, if you're buying it from a scrapyard, if you're buying it from somewhere that sells engines and where in the country you were actually purchasing it for. So the first engine did arrive and it was completely the wrong engine for this car and the owner of the Canadian Tire was just pissed off at that but it was 100% the manager's fault. He literally ordered the wrong engine for this car. He ordered one for a Chrysler 300 but not the right engine that they needed for this specific one. So now that we ordered the first engine it did have to get returned and then the second engine did come and they got it from a scrapyard and it was missing parts, it didn't run properly and it was completely a busted engine. It was completely flooded. It did not work whatsoever. So there goes the second engine. So obviously they had to order another engine. So they decided to get another used engine and they did order it. And again, it was the wrong engine. I don't get how after the first one being the wrong one, how you ended up ordering a wrong one again, but our manager did do that. Now onto the fourth engine. The manager planned on it to be delivered on on a Sunday, which our shop's not open on Sundays. And on Sundays, there was only one person in the automotive department, and that day ended up being me. So the manager knew ahead of time, I did not at the time, but the manager knew that the old engine had to be strapped down onto a pallet, it needed to have all of the fluids drained, it needed to have all of this prep work done because whenever they dropped off the new engine, they were picking up the old one at the same time as per the agreement. 
Now, whenever they came to drop off the engine, whenever they went to do it, they looked at the engine and it was just sitting on the engine crane. There was nothing on the pallet, no work was done on it, no fluids were drained. It was just still attached to the engine crane, which was not what they had to do. They needed it fully strapped and ready to go, so they just unload the engine from the truck and they, un they load up the pallets and put it onto the truck and it's ready to go and the deal is done. But since they didn't even have the engine ready to go, they couldn't drop off the new engine. So the fourth engine came and went back on the truck. They didn't even take it off the truck, but they didn't get to deliver it. They literally had to leave because the old engine was not ready for delivery. So the manager came in two days later and was extremely pissed off and at the time was blaming me for not stopping them and not getting them to take it. But the manager knew that the prep work for the old engine needed to be done and they didn't do it. Now, ironically, whenever they contacted the company to get that engine back, they already sold it to somebody else because the company they were buying it from are not one to wait around since they were not ready to make the deal that they did move on to the next buyer and they already sold that engine. So the fourth engine was sold now to somebody else. Story gets even better because the fifth engine, they got it and it did not work properly. So now at this point in time, it's been about two and a half months that this Chrysler 300 has been in our shop. The customer has been calling week after week pissed off and rightfully so in my opinion. He ended up getting a lawyer involved with the whole situation and now the store owner was pissed off at our whole department. Now he was mainly pissed off at our manager and the mechanic because it was their fault. He wasn't really pissed off at me because when it came to the fourth engine, how was I supposed to stop them and make them deliver that engine when they didn't have any of the prep work done on the old engine? That was not my fault and the owner completely understood that, but the manager still blamed me for that engine for the fourth engine not being able to be delivered. So the store owner basically said to them, hey, you better get this engine replaced soon because now we have lawyers involved. Now they're threatening to sue us. Get this engine replaced or you guys are not going to have a job. Now the sixth engine, funny enough, it didn't work either, but this one came from the United States. So it came from Colorado. So not only was it expensive to get, it was expensive for the shipping, the customs was expensive, and it took two and a half weeks to receive it. And it was just a, another engine that just didn't work, which was hilarious. So now at this point in time, it's been two and a half months since this car first rolled into our shop. We've had this Chrysler 300 for two and a half months. The customer was calling week after week trying to get updates and he was extremely pissed off. He ended up getting a lawyer involved because he was so pissed off. And now the store owner at Canadian Tire was pissed off at our whole department, mainly at the manager and mechanic for such terrible work they've been doing. And he wasn't really pissed off at me, even though the manager was blaming me for that fourth engine that we just talked about. He wasn't blaming me. The store owner wasn't blaming me because how was I supposed to make that delivery happen when the mechanic and the manager didn't have any of the prep work done on the old engine? So now because a lawyer was involved, the store owner basically told them, you guys better get this engine replaced and get one that works soon or you're not going to have a job. So they ordered the seventh engine. And funny enough, once again, it was the wrong damn engine for this car. It wasn't the right one for the Chrysler 300 that they had in the shop. It was the wrong engine again. So now the owner is fuming, customer is fuming, the lawyer's calling literally every day for an update, things are just getting bad. Finally, they get an engine and it did cost a lot because it was from a newer car, from a newer Chrysler 300, but it worked for this one and it just worked. They got it running and literally lost so much money off of this deal. And that's why Canadian Tire rarely does any engine work and engine replacements because a lot of the mechanics aren't qualified to do that work because they rarely do it. Most of the time Canadian Tire is tire changes and oil changes and very minor stuff. Whenever it comes to big stuff like this, it would be better to take it to a bigger shop in a shop that has number one, more mechanics so they can all be on hands rather than a shop that only has one mechanic like ours did.
But finally, after three months of this Chrysler 300 being in our shop, it was finally done, even though they didn't make any money because they didn't charge any labor to the customer, even though there was so many hours of labor trying to go through all of the engines, they didn't charge any labor. So the customer was okay just paying the cost of the engine that they had to receive for the car. So the customer paid for the engine, none of the labor to install it, which it took a long time for them and so many hours and they just called it a day like that. So the store owner was pissed off still and blamed the manager. So for months and months and months, the manager was just in so much shit and extremely on thin ice with our store owner. But at the end of the day, after three months of this Chrysler 300 being in our shop and after eight engines, they finally got one that works. But I just can't believe it took that many months and they had to go through that many engines before they finally got one that worked for this vehicle. That is just completely crazy in my opinion, but I hope you guys enjoyed this story. It just baffles me that it even happened, but it definitely was video worthy. I hope you guys enjoyed this story and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.